In this video, I will show how to upload a file to AWS S3 with Node.js. First, let's create a bucket. Let's go to S3. Bucket name unique. region anyone you want then we need public access and click create We have bucket. Now let's create a project. First of all, we need npm init. Everything is by default. The next, let's install AWS SDK. Meanwhile, we will create a new file index.js and let's do step by step. We need SDK, then we need create S3, then let's save const bucket name, this one. It's a key for a new file name we will save. File PNG, for example. Then we need create a function with file path, file we want to upload. Next, bucket name and uh, new file name key. And in the end, we need to call this function with the next parameters, file paths. Let's create the image and upload it. For example, now we will create this file, bucket name we have, and the new file key we have as well. Now let's add some file for uploading. So I added file, it's just a photo. Now let's create the next upload function. Pass, we will get it from the same folder and upload fo file name, file. First, uh, we need the file stream to get this file. Don't forget we need a fast file system.
let's handle error now we need params for bucket uploading bucket we have bucket name key it will be a new file name key and the uh, file itself it's body it's our file stream the next s3 upload we will pass params and um, callback function to handle behavior if error show error if data and data location so basically it should be that's that's enough but let's try to run it and as you see we have a row Now let's try to fix it. To fix it, we need to create a user missing credentials. Okay. To handle it, let's go to AWS. Let's go to IM. this one now we need create a user let's add the user username Let's click next. We want attach policy directly. Let's find administrator access. Don't forget to remove this user after creating. Next. And now create a user. Now we need to go to this user, security credentials, and we need to create access key. And it will be for command line interface. this one optional let's create access key now we have access key let's copy it
and we need secret key. Let's copy it as well. The next. When we created S3, we can pass params. So, access key ID. It's this one. Secret access key. This one. And the region is for bucket. This. Now let's try to run it again. So we have success. Let's check. And as you see, we have file PNG. Let's check. Yep this one we have object URL let's we have access denied we just need to configure public access but basically file is uploaded in case you need to configure public access is another topic we won't cover it here but everything is done other important option in case you don't want to put access key and secret key into your code it's a good idea never put it to the code and don't push it to github the next we need to configure environment variables how can we do it let's do the next let's export aws access key id with this value then export AWS secret access key we have it now we will remove these options Let's rename file and try again. And success again. Let's check what do we have. We need to refresh. And we have file one PNG. The same size, the same file, the same date. So everything works. Thank you for watching. In case you need this code sample, it will be in the description for this video.